the space means that you can, cannot move as a human. But music can. When this concert succeeds, when uh, more than 50 people are here making music across the line, it's a symbol that the world doesn't restrict everything. And that still you can express your humanity. We have a war, segregation war. What we can do? We are facing all of us like this. You can keep this wall has to parade that even our own people, our relatives between other sides, even it is five minutes walking, but we can see them only once a year. Music uses the air, and the air is the same at this side and the other side of uh, the wall in Bethlehem. The music of the project will go anywhere, and you cannot stop it. So my first step to bring you up... We put musicians on the rooftop that is just over the wall, and of course also musicians at uh, this side. Actually, the place is very tense. Uh, there has been uh, big confrontations here uh, with the Israeli army. So we have a risk that if the Israelis don't want us here, that they will uh, tell us uh, to stop it. And this is a risk we're going to take. I believe uh, for music, they don't have a specific uh, rules in their book uh, how to react on it. So I believe they will just uh, let it go. But they're watching us. In Bethlehem, we perform at both sides of the walls. Mm -hmm. So that's why carried by the wind means freedom. It is. For me. It is. My music means freedom in general. Yeah. It, it means must be something that the people never heard before. Mm -hmm. You can count on us. Besides, it's a big challenge, you know. And to be honest, it's the first time in my life I do this. So I can't wait to do it. Metals? What do you mean metals? You mean us? We can only get the finest of the finest, you see. You can hear that, sorry. How's the tuning? Oh, it sucks. It's completely out of tune with its surroundings. I think. It's a little bit too high, but I don't think it's very harmonious. Though. This is excellent. <laughs> Not for you. For my project. <laughs> it's it's I mean it's terrible. It's excellent terrible.
try work with these children to, to give them another picture. You have a hope. You must think about your future. Don't think a lot of times about the wall. The wall will fall. I believe that the wall will fall, inshallah. The children from the camp that are part of the performance are wearing some costumes by uh, the Japanese designer uh, Shusaku. And he was inspired by uh, butterflies. And I think in this situation, to be a butterfly means total freedom and certainly no war. Hello. Hey, I am the viola player. Also composer. Well, I think it's a fantastic idea. It is very unconventional, of course. Here, people never had such an uh, experience. Why it is important? Because it is like a statement of life next to the wall, which is a statement of death. This road used to be the most crowded, busy road in Bethlehem in the, in the 90s and before, because of the building of the wall around this holy place of uh, the Rachel's tomb. It has become one of the deadest areas in, uh, in, in Palestine. So it is now the mission of musicians, of artists, to try to convert it into something really alive as a non-violent cultural statement. Music is an idea, you know, and uh, it expresses what you feel in your heart. It makes you feel that you're really a human being. With the music of this program that we made, we can communicate it with them. Even of the power of the Israeli soldiers, you know, they can forbid us or stop us. The big problem is miscommunication. I don't know a lot of things about the Israelis. And at the same time, the Israelis don't know anything about me. This is their security for them, not to go to the Palestinians, do problems for them. But the security, not to, uh, to put the walls and to negotiations for the peace. How can we do negotiations with our neighbors if there is war cut us like this? I hate weapons, hate violence, and my only weapon is my guitar, you know. It is symbolic, it gives us hope. It means if I heard music from there and the music and the both of the music uh, talk together, it means uh, when one day it will come also to talk with each other. <laughs>